Hi everyone, welcome to the video. If you've been using iOS 18, you might have noticed that it's not as great as we all hoped it would be. That's exactly how I felt too. At first, I was excited to try out all the new features, but after using it for a while, I started to notice some problems. Siri, which I use a lot for quick tasks, just didn't feel as responsive as before. The Photos app, which is something I relied on to organize and edit my pictures, felt slower and not as compared to how it worked in iOS 17. I started looking into what other people were saying and I found out I wasn't the only one. A lot of users online have been sharing their frustrations with iOS 18. Some even pointed out that small things like app performance and system stability just aren't as polished as they were in iOS 17. That's when I decided to take action and downgrade back to iOS 17. Let me tell you, it was the best decision I've made in a while. iOS 17 just feels more stable, faster and overall easier to use. So if you're feeling stuck or frustrated with iOS 18, I'm here to help. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to downgrade step by step. Don't worry, it's really simple and doesn't take much time. Let's get started. Before we proceed, make sure you've backed up your iPhone. It's always a good idea to have your important data saved just in case something goes wrong during the downgrade process. You can back up your iPhone using iCloud or iTunes. Once your backup is ready, we can move on to the next step. Let's move to my desktop to start the downgrade process. Now that we're on my desktop, the first thing you need to do is click the link in the description below. This will take you to the official website where you'll find the tool we're going to use. Here is the Tenorshare Rayboot. It's the number one free iOS system repair and recovery software. With Rayboot, you can safely upgrade or downgrade from iOS 18 to iOS 17 without needing jailbreak or iTunes. It's quick, reliable, and super easy to use. I've already installed the tool on my computer, so let me open it up and show you the process of downgrading. It's really simple and you'll see how quickly you can move from iOS 18 back to iOS 17 without any hassle. Here's the interface of the tool. As you can see, there are plenty of other features you can explore like fixing common iOS issues or entering and exiting recovery mode. But for us, we're focusing on downgrading. So go ahead and click on the iOS upgrade downgrade option. Once you click on it, you'll see an option for downgrade. Click on that. Once you click downgrade, you'll see a list of available iOS 17 versions. Select the version you want to downgrade to, then click download to begin the process. This may take a few minutes depending on your internet speed, so just sit tight while the firmware downloads. Once the firmware has finished downloading, click on Initiating Downgrade, then click Continue to start the downgrade process. The tool will begin working and your iPhone will be downgraded to iOS 17 in no time. The downgrade will take a few minutes, so just sit back and let it complete. Once it's done, your iPhone will restart and you'll be back on iOS 17 with everything running smoothly again. Now, all you have to do is set up your iPhone as usual. You'll be back on iOS 17 and everything should be running smoothly again. That's it. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions or need more tips, let me know in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful videos. Thanks for watching.